Henry Ford. Left field and deep and gone. <laughs> Harry Ford, left field and deep, and Harry Ford has gone out of here. You're a wizard, Harry. I'm a what? A wizard. Harry Ford is a wizard. He's the future Robin to Julio's Batman. He's the Duke of Phoenix. Very nice. He is Sir Harry Ford. And with this performance over this past week in the World Baseball Classic, the Mariners' top overall prospect has gained a lot of new fans, both at home and abroad. Introducing your home run hero, Sir Harry Ford! <laughs> that is right, little man. That is awesome. So for all you fans of Sir Harry Ford, let's get into who he is and how he got to this point. Harrison Michael Ford was born in Atlanta, Georgia back in 2003, and although he never lived in Great Britain, both of his parents were born in the UK. He was listed as a catcher slash outfielder throughout high school, ranked as the number two overall player in Georgia and the number one overall catcher, which also had him ranked as number 11 in the country overall and the number one catcher in the country. He would commit to play baseball at Georgia Tech, but after being ranked 10th overall by perfect game for the 2021 draft, he was not gonna be going to college. Before the MLB draft, the Mariners flew out to Georgia and held a private workout with Harry. And from the reports, they were more than impressed. Harry Ford wowed with his ability to drive the ball consistently the other way to right center field, doing so with a weighted sleeve on his bat and reminding some of Edgar Martinez's approach to hitting. Then when he took off the weight, he showed ridiculous raw power, hitting balls out to his pole side with ease. With the 12th pick of the 2021 MLB Draft, the Seattle Mariners select Harry Ford, a catcher from North Cobb High School, Ackworth, Georgia. Harry Ford, a uh, high school prep Georgia catcher. We've seen that before. Joey Bart, Tyler Stevenson, Max Pentecost, Anthony Siegler, which sets Ford apart. His 60 grade speed as a catcher, he can fly. He's got pop in his bat too. He had a home run, the perfect game All-American Classic. As described, standing in at 5'10", 200, Harry turned 20 years old just three weeks ago, and he has all five tools with the 60 grade run tool. And he's been getting comparisons to guys like JT Romuto, Russell Martin, and even Craig Biggio based on his speed and the fact that some evaluators say that he could be playing second base, third base, or even center field for the Mariners at some point. Although of course, yes, calm down. We know Julio will be patrolling center field for the foreseeable future. But in having all five tools, typically the most athletic player on the field is either the center fielder or the shortstop, right? So why would Harry want to stick at catcher? I started catching when I was nine, nine, 10, around there. Uh, I was because I first was an outfield and I got pretty bored because, you know, <laughs> I have ADHD and it was pretty hard for me to stay focused the whole game and everything out there. And at some one time I try out, this dude was hurt. And so they let me put the gear on and I've been catching ever since. And, you know, it's, it's something different than any other position. You know, there's nothing like it. I mean, catcher, you got to be in every, every pitch again. You're involved in every play. You always have something to do. You're really the backbone of the team, sort of, and, you know, controlling pitchers, controlling the game, controlling hitters, everything, and it's just everything I like. I mean, I get, I love being focused and, you know, being a catcher is just so important for a team, and every team needs a good, needs a good one, and it's just, I just love it so much. It's amazing. Is this true that another reason why you like catching is because you don't like wearing a ball cap? Yes, it's very true. <laughs> I mean, I... I since even even now when I got my hat up there after signing I put it on for a few pictures I haven't worn it since I mean like I'm just not a hat dude I gotta I wear a size eight for my hat it's it messes up my hair it's just I don't know I'm not a hat dude <laughs> <laughs> in his first exposure to pro baseball at 18 years old in 19 games in rookie ball he finished with a 291 batting average with three home runs and three stolen bases Easy, baby. Easy. 
Nope. <laughs> nope. Oh. It's all good, bro. In 2022, Harry would play in 104 games for the single A Modesto Nuts, hitting to a 274 batting average with 11 home runs, 65 RBIs, a 425 on base percentage, with 25 stolen bases and 88 walks. He also threw out 21 runners trying to steal a base and had 41 assists. Harry's 425 on base percentage was largely due to his 17.6% walk rate. And just for reference, there was only one major league batter with a walk rate above 15.9%, and that was the Soto shuffling Juan Soto, who had a walk rate of 20.3%. During the World Baseball Classic, Harry Ford held a 13.3% walk rate and would finish with a 308 batting average with two home runs, four RBIs, and a 1.246 OPS. And oh, by the way, when he hit that first home run, he became the youngest player in World Baseball Classic history to do so at just 20 years and 19 days old. And with this performance, he's now on everyone's radar. And while most people think his timeline is 2025 to get to the big leagues, he might just force his way on the roster sooner than we think. And I wouldn't be surprised if he starts taking reps at second and third base. You know, the guy that, that really stuns you, if you have, you know, three days to go sit on the backfields and watch the physical ability on the field, is Harry Ford. And when you see Harry, it is, he is about as athletic-looking a catcher as you're ever going to come across. It's like the, he is, he is it, it, incredibly detailed in how he takes care of his body and, and disciplined and how he eats. So it stands out immediately how athletic he looks, especially for a catcher. And he's not a, he's not a tall you know person, but he's a, he gets on the field and the tools play big. It's a you know he, he just starts hammering balls and and you're going to see the six or eight homers in a row and they're not all to the pull side. He'll hit them to the the big part of the field and hoppo, and then you watch him execute his at bats and it's so disciplined. You know he's a, it's he's a very advanced player for his age, which I think is why you know up to and including. And I guess the recent Baseball America top 100, where, where we were fortunate, we, we landed three guys again. And, and uh, you know, Harry was the highest of that group, and they, they actually projected him forward as our third baseman after, <laughs> after Gino you know, departs. And, and because of that athleticism, it's certainly not because he can't he's He can throw. He's a good receiver. He does all these things well. But like Bryce Harper, you see the athlete and the impact with the bat and your natural – inclination is move them and get in there quicker mm. but he is the guy that really does stand out thank you for watching and let me know your thoughts in the comments below do you think harry will make it to the big leagues in 2024 potentially in the infield so he doesn't get too bored please make sure to hit that like button subscribe to the channel and i'll put a link on the right side of the screen to my player profile series all right guys goodbye zone and don't forget it. stop it